Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Movie Snips. Today we're going to be talking about Rick Deckard and Rachel's daughter, Anna Stelline. Um, I th this is a topic that I uh, haven't covered and I thought it would be a good idea to address it uh, since it's one of the more obscure topics in the Blade Runner sequel. Before I get further into this, please remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The Nexus 7 line was a highly advanced experimental replicant of which there were only two, possibly three known individuals. The most notable Nexus 7 replicant was none other than Rachel Eldon Tyrell's secretary. Nexus 7s also had open-ended lifespans with no fixed termination date. Probably the most significant advantage that the Nexus 7 replicants possessed was their ability to reproduce a function not even possessed by the newer Nexus 8 and Nexus 9 replicants. This was evidenced by the birth of Rick Deckard and Rachel's child, Anna Stelline. Dr. Anna Stelline was a subcontractor who was employed by the Wallace Corporation, working as a memory designer at an upgrade center named Stelline Laboratories. She was born on June 10, 2021, the daughter of former Blade Runner police detective Rick Deckard and Nexus 7 replicant Rachel making her the first human replicant hybrid. However, Rachel died as a result of Stelline's emergency cesarean section birth. Prior to the birth, in order to protect his daughter and partner, De Deckard left them in the care of a replicant resistance group, specifically with Sapper Morden and Frieza Sadegpour. After Stelline was born, her birth records were scrambled, making it seem that the pregnancy produced twins, a boy and a girl, with identical DNA and, that, and that, the, that the girl had died young as a result of a genetic disorder. This was likely a plot conceived by the replicant resistance movement in an effort to hide Stelline's true identity. She was given shelter at the Moral Coal Orphanage in San Diego. On one occasion during her time there, she was chased by a group of other orphans who wanted to steal her toy horse from her. She hid the horse in an abandoned furnace and was then beaten by the group of children. She was then adopted soon after. Her adoptive parents eventually moved to the off-war colonies, but she had to remain on Earth due to a compromised immune system and from, from the age of eight was kept within the walls of a sterile chamber. By 2049, Stelline was subcontracted by the Wallace Corporation while still being under quarantine. For her work, she was confined to her memory, to her chamber where she could use a memory orb device to construct replicant memories in order to structure personalities. She manipulated these via holograms that she could interact with and would presumably send them out to Wallace. She claimed to have a particular fondness for birthday parties, often creating memories based on them. She was a good natured and amicable young lady and her sense of creativity reflected this. In the Blade Runner 2049 sequel, she was visited by Nexus 9 Blade Runner K, who asked her to, 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 to determine whether his childhood memory of the wooden horse was real or not. She examined the memory, which happened to be her own, and not Kay's. Tearfully, she confirmed it to be real. Fraser Sadegpour soon revealed to Kay that he was not Rachel and Deckard's secret child, uh, leading him to determine that Stelline was. Towards the end of the movie, Kay, take, uh, Kay takes Deckard to Stelline's lab as she interacts with the Snowfall hologram. She doesn't recognize him as her father, but Deckard affectionately places his open palm on the window. A hotly debated topic amongst Blade Runner fans is whether Rick Deckard was actually an experimental Nexus 7 replicant himself, unbeknownst to him. If you go by the official narrative, then Deckard is a regular human and not a replicant. However, there is a popular and somewhat convincing belief amongst some Blade Runner fans that Deckard is in fact a replicant, and there is some evidence from the first Blade Runner movie that seems to suggest this. I won't get into details since this will be a separate topic for a separate video. However, if Deckard is in fact a replicant, then that, that would also imply that Stelline is a pure-blooded replicant child, the offspring of two synthetically created beings. This in turn would suggest that some replicants can actually conceive offspring without the need for a human partner. Another question that needs to be addressed is whether the conception of a human replicant child or a replicant slash replicant child is natural and without complications. Evidently, Stelline had to be removed from Rachel's womb using an emergency C-section procedure. Stelline also had a serious medical condition that required her to be confined to a, hermetic, to a hermetically sealed chamber. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. If you feel I missed anything or would like to add anything to this discussion, please, please feel free to comment down below. 
Please also remember to uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please check out my channel for more Blade Runner videos.